This is tutorial 19, continuation of 18, of course. Sorry guys, it seems that it's taking so long, but I'm trying to be being well specific, so understand what's going on. Um, we were not even able to finish the update, but let's keep going here. So what else we have here is just, it was the first name, the last name, and we have the gender. So, so the gender we're gonna do, well, we had to choose between uh, who between male and female? So let's gonna start with the if, if uh, male. I mean not male. I mean if a student the gender uh, equals to m of male. Oh, he I. As a character, think. Nope. Try that again. So it's gonna happen. Well, what is wrong here? Um, oh, basic programming equals. Okay, in here I want a character instead. So see okay that worked so if and i won't really need this so if student.gender equals to m then uh mel that is checked i want that radio button to be checked right so it's going to be equals to true that's what i'm going to do i'm going to assign that else you could do here an if again or, or else if I just else is gonna resolve because the other option is just a female. So here it goes female that is checked equals to true. Okay, so what just happened here? Um, whenever we run the application, and let's go there and run see what happened. Oh, we have some errors. Let's fix them first and see what was the problem. Well, since I, I think I know what it is, since I copy the things the, um, from from the add student, and let me actually name this differently and put the update. Well, let me do this. Let me, yeah, let me put it here. Update. I And that actually pastes all over. I have the click, as you see in here. When I have the click here, it means that I should have the method in the CS file as well. But because I don't, it's giving me the error. Um, now if I go, go ahead here and just, let's change the value here too. Uh, where's the value of you? Update. Oh, up here. Let's put here update, right? And if I click here, it's gonna create the method in the CS. Now I'm gonna be good, but I have another error and that one's gonna be for the uh, cancel. So let me do the same thing. Now let me try to run and see if it gives me any other error. I guess not, so we're good to go. So edit student, let me get the first one. Update, it didn't, nothing came up, and I know why. We have to, to call the little WPF that we just created. So let's, let's do that. Um, here, when are we gonna do that? Where's edit student? He's edit student, so let me go to that button, double click it. Here, this guy. And what do I wanna do here? Is just call update. Update student. So, new student equals new update student. Um, What did we have here? We had this has an argument uh, that it had a parameter that we put there. There was a student type, so we have to pass that student here, okay, to make sure that it will work. And how we're gonna do let's just create a student here. Um, not really create because since we are actually selecting somebody, we 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 don't want to create another student. We just want to get the person that was selected. So let's call here student selected. Remember, don't create another one because you're gonna have an error, okay? Just get the one that is selected. 
equals to how we call that thing was student data uh, dot um, uh, I think it's select something selected item there we go um, as as a student so what I just did here I I got the guy that I it was selected right and I made the guy like when I do it as a student just making sure that the guy will be of the type student because that's the one I want to pass in here so let me put here selected since in my when I create the update student I have a student you remember like in the constructor let me show you that again so here it goes this is the constructor I have right so and I, I created that here that's what I'm passing so uh, that's exactly what I did here okay but before we do this like let's say that the, let's say that nothing was selected I mean I, I should throw an error and tell them okay you can't do anything because nothing was selected so let me do just a check statement here real quick so if selected oh, come on equals to null what do I want to do I just probably want to do um, a message box uh, and say you must select a student okay oh let me close that in here all right show sure. forgot that message box dot show right so here let's see how that works um, let's run that again If I try to, to update, it's gonna tell me that you must select a student because I didn't update, I didn't put anybody. Now, if I do this guy here, if I select the first one, uh, oh, okay, and now I have to still do the program. Let's do it. We can just actually come here and do a student dot show dialog, right? Um, student dot show dialog. That'll be good enough. You can put here the student blah 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 was updated successfully whatever you want but i probably don't want to close okay let's open that again let's something's going to show now right it's showing what i had already um but when i do like an update like right now of course i'm working we still have more stuff to do um but i want to whenever i do an update I wanted this window to close, but I wanted this one still to be here. This one here, still to be here. So what I want to do to get that, let me close this. It's just, I can just come up here and do a window loaded, just call the window loaded function. Uh, let me give the no, no, no. Okay, and that should be good to do that. Okay, I'll end up this tutorial here. But yeah, next time I hope we finish the update. Thanks guys.